Thank you. It pains me to ask you this, but are any of the things that you are accused of true? It is propaganda. You should know better than anyone not to believe everything you read in the paper. That is not what I asked you. You must disband the football club. The football club looks after me. They keep me safe. They must go. But darling, there is a Walter Sisulu football club. Why can't we have a Mandela United football the club? The Walter Sisulu football club does not have members who are terrorizing the community, who are behaving like thugs. The Mandela United football club has members who are accused of murder. That is nonsense. I will let the boys go if they want to. Get rid of them. I have spoken on it now. I do not want to hear any more about any of these things. <laughs> Look at you. We, how are you able to switch from one <laughs> road to another? <laughs> I mean, um, I guess that's what I get paid to do. Yeah. You know, it's my, it's my job. It's my career. Uh, but that was a very special you know, role, obviously, for the obvious reasons. And, and I just... You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity to have been able to play Mama Weenie and alongside uh, Lawrence Fishburne, who is one of the finest, you know, actor of our generation. Now, let's talk about um, a scholarship. Um, we read on the internet, they actually said you won a scholarship, but the in internet. fact, you, you had applied <laughs> and you were offered this scholarship yeah. that you did not take up. No, and in actual fact, what happened was I, you know, I decided, okay, I'm, you know, I'm moving to LA and what, what I want to do while I'm taking acting classes is also to take um, uh, classes and do directing. So I applied, you know, at the New York Film Academy and, and I was accepted and they said, actually, you know, when you send your profile and you send mm -hmm. everything, they're like, would love to offer you a scholarship. But I could not take the scholarship because, you know, um, there were other opportunities that were happening at the time and I just had to like choose which one to focus on and and I don't regret how things worked out mm -hmm. because I, I believe in, in God's timing like I said um, and sometimes you make your own plans and he's got you know greater plans better for plans you. for yeah, you plans and for he's you. been very <laughs> funny in my life because every time I make big plans like he's got a funny way of like ridiculing my plans with even greater ones so um, yeah maybe that's one thing I'll you know Consider, like, I, I don't think it's, you know, too late to study. I don't think it's, you know, ever too late to empower yourself, to learn something new, to, you know, just explore. Mm -hmm. Now, we know, Terry, that uh, this year has been a tough one for you. Um, you've lost your father. Mm -hmm. How have you managed? Um, <laughs> you, you have to find a way to, you know, find some kind of balance, to, 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 to be present, to experience the pain, to acknowledge that this happened, uh, to celebrate the life and the time that you've had with the person, and, uh, and to also know that it's part of life. Uh, as hard as it might be, it's also part of life. And it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, some of my, you know, greatest pain come when, you know, there's like so much good in, in my career. Yeah. So trying to find that, that balance. Yeah. And, and at times you would need someone like your dad to celebrate your achievements worth. I, I, I know he's with me. Mm. I know, I have no doubt. I mean, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have been there when he took his last, you know, breath. Um, and I, I think it kind of gave me some kind of closure. Um, yeah, you, you, you learn to live with that pain. You, you learn to, you know, use it for something positive. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, certainly as a Christian, of course, you have to look beyond that. Now, um, we are receiving some of the tweets. I think you come across this question quite often, um, Terry. One from Tepom Bele, he is your homeboy from Farieneng. Mm -hmm. And then he writes to Morning Life saying, I would like to know if uh, Terry is married or not. Um, <laughs> uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take the next one. The next one is from uh, Notorious uh, Mabilani. I love Terry Peter. Is she taken or available? Tell her to follow me back. She's our South African pride and joy. Okay. 
Well, you can tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like an instruction. <laughs> All right. The next one from uh, Mzuki. See, good breakfast with uh, Terry Petre. Does she have young ones? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a mother yet, yeah. but I have so many children in my life. I have my nephews who are my babies. Uh, they're just beautiful. I have my godchildren. And, and if you go through my social media, you'll see so many kids so because many I've got kids, so yeah. many kids in my life. Yeah. Biologically, you don't have your own, but you take not, care not, of not a yet. whole lot other. Not yet. Hence the um, educational toy business venture. Yes, but we're going to yes. talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about uh, that. We're going to talk about that uh, later on. Let's take the next video on Morning Live at Morning Live SABC. It's our cheetah handle. The next one is from um, Kule. Uh, Terry Peter looks so beautiful on Morning Live. How do you maintain this look? I think it's good lighting. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> good lighting here. <laughs> um, you have to like take care of yourself. Mm. And, um, yeah, and if you're happy, like, it shows. It's, it does. Um, honestly, like, if you're happy, you look like you lit from within. Yeah, and that's true. Yeah. Okay. We've got two more. Let's take a look at those tweets that you sent through at Morning Live at CBC. Another one from uh, Tepo. Um, we have already put this one through to, to you. It's about you being mm -hmm. married, as she said. Not taken. Taken? Not taken? Are you available? Not of the I'm not married. You're not married. Yet. Okay, let's keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict also writing to Morning Live. I'm also trying to escape from the val and be able to stand on my own. Uh, to what advice can you give me? The issue in Ayahore, you can't actually prosper. Morning mm -hmm. You need to move to Johannesburg mm -hmm. in order to make it to make it big. Do you really believe in that as well? I don't. I don't believe it's um, you know the same for everyone. I think we all have like different journeys in life mm -hmm. and just because something worked for one person doesn't mean it will work for you and and you know like you need to find out for yourself what is you know what's the problem what are you trying to escape yeah. from and because it might just chase you for the rest of your life okay. so you you need to find a way to address the things that you know you think you need to run away from because otherwise they'll they're like ghosts. They will be with you mm -hmm. wherever you go. Yeah. And I can just say, like, if you work hard, um, you know, things will happen for you regardless where you are. All right. right. But Let also, if you want to be an actor and you're always sitting behind, you know, um, you know, whatever, like, you know, in the hospital, like, it's not going to help you. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a doctor, you, you know, make sure up. that, you know, you put yourself in the right position where the people that you can, you know, talk to or you can look up to around you. All right. It's 8 o'clock. We are going to be um, taking or continue with this discussion after 8 o'clock uh, news. And Leanne is standing by with uh, the latest.